G'day everybody, welcome back to my channel, you got me in stitches, my name's Anna and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a good week. So I haven't picked up the camera at all, this is the first time, it is October 26th and I thought I was going to do my pattern stash because I hadn't done any sewing at all. That said, as you can see, got my surgery there. To the right of me, yeah, got my left and right round the correct way that time. And I have just started sewing Sneaky Peak. It is beautiful, beautiful birdie fabric from So Delicious. So a little top. When I finish that, I will show you guys the uh, finished garment. Okay, so really exciting. Oh, I'm just like, yeah, a big child. Uh, happy male. And I know who it's from. It's from little, well, the love I shouldn't say little. She's lovely. She's absolutely gorgeous. Miss Waffle Waffle. That's my nickname for her. Um, she hasn't told me off um, for actually saying that. And I did ask and haven't got a reply back. <laughs> I should continue to call her Miss Waffle Waffle. But we all know who she is. And she's the most gorgeous and delightful Sean from Kittenish Behaviour. So if you guys have been watching all her videos when she did sort of like a clear out of her closet and everything there was a few pieces that I had my eye on and I cheekily asked for them not for free so the premise was to donate some money to the animal sort of thrifting stores that we've got sort of here currently in the UK um, I mean I donate all the time anyway but especially to the animals because well, just because, you know, animals have got to have a voice and be heard and they need looking after. So I will, if I'm allowed to, when I donate the cash, I will film it. It won't be today. Um, and again, I will film it if the lady or gentleman in the store allows me. If not, I'll just have to do some stills and obviously make sure that those guys' faces are not in. And I will table them that. So, yeah, I... I've um, already snipped it open ready, so I'm so excited. Oh, it's like Christmas has come early, isn't it? I don't know. I don't really do Christmas, but no. Anyway, let's see. Now I'm picking up the um, waffle waffle. Oh. So I just cut that because obviously I don't like all the crackling and everything, and I guess that might irritate you guys, so I've sort of undead. Und unwrapped the blue tissue paper you can see a little bit of it there and I got oh I fumble fingers I don't know I'm just like really excited but it's like my first package from a different vlogger so I'm always sort of sending out a few cards and parcels to uh, vloggers and things for various reasons anyway look I've got a cute little note Yee, so exciting it's like I know here are the bits and pieces you ask for I hope you like them lots of love Sean so, I start off with squawkers. Yeah, see, look, I'm already squawking mad, aren't I? So, it's just really, really bizarre. I am holding these beautiful garments that Sean had made and worn, and it's like, I own them now. <laughs> Sorry, I just, yeah, yeah, I don't know. You might need to skip this bit. bit, bit. No, I'm not drunk. And I just, I'm just on giggle happy thingies. I don't know. But look, anyway. So this is the beautiful skirt. With the absolutely stunning parrots and macaws on. See, look, now, <laughs> I can be really naughty, couldn't I? Shall we examine her sewing skills and stitching and everything? No, I would not be so rude. So, invisible zipper. Oh, it's just, oh, look, she's just so tiny. See, people say to me that I'm slim, but I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to fit in that. So, I, oh, and look, the rainbow bias binding, awesome, and French themed. See, look, I've just got some really, really stunningly made garments oh anyway next piece this was the little pretty top that she had made recently and she wasn't overly 
confident in it and I like I really really like this funny enough I went to a thrift store the other day and I saw something similar um, but it had just like a little sort of tie belt that yes there is a little tie belt on there um, but it was just ever so slightly different but it's really really sweet and I've got some um, sort of summery pants that I made recently I think they had birds on and I've got some spidey ones so that would team up really really well little wrap top and short sleeves so I, and I mean again I've got a cardigan on today and it's it's not actually um, originally vintage it's relatively modern and it's just designed to look vintage but look at these little stags I think they're really really lovely and obviously it will start getting a little bit cooler I still can't believe how it's just so sunny you know fall season got all the beautiful leaves and everything falling off and yeah the sun is shining and it's really really warm and we're creeping into November and I'm thinking one day we're gonna have a hot sunny Christmas it's just not right is it it should be really freezing cold and you know we should all be snuggled up in our sweaters and hats and all sorts of things but anyway yeah yeah I'm going off on one so I do really, really like sweaters and cardigans. I prefer cardigans because obviously when you do them up, they become sweaters. But if, you know, you really get hot or something, you know, you can unbutton, you know. So cardigans are quite versatile. This is a little bit sharp for me, but I don't really like long sleeves, so I'm always pulling them up. So I always sort of have them about three quarters or just past my elbows anyway. So anyway, that was garment two and like I say I could easily wear this underneath this cardigan and that would work fantastically and to be fair these two work together really really well okay so finally oh, I really 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 love this look it's so gorgeous the little strawberries and then there can you see that Yeah, so, obviously we might have to make a few adjustments, I will see, um, I think they're roughly about the same size around our tummy area anyway, I'm usually, I hover sort of in between sort of 26 inches, sometimes 27, obviously Sean is much more, <clears throat> excuse me Sean, bustier than me, I just like, I really haven't got anything, so, <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous, and look, eek! Yeah, I think you can tell that I'm just a little bit ecstatic and happy and purring like a kitten, so, yes. But the cat's not going to go anywhere near these, no. What I will do, I will try them on, and if they fit, that's fine, and I will take some photographs so you guys can see. Um. So anyway, really, really, really special thank you to Sean. Um absolutely exceptional young lady and that's really really kind of her because she didn't have to send them to me and you know again the agreement was that I donate money which is more than happy so and again I was more than happy to send the money um to Sean Farshan for all these beautiful clothes so yeah so that's that I've got a few other little bit of pieces that I'm going to show you because obviously I missed a blog and then last week it was just sort of a bit you know I bought another SD card for my cell phone, so that's what I'm filming on today. I put the other cell, other cell phone. I've put the other SIM card to one side and made a note that that's the one that I got to sort of find uh, an expert with the software to see if they can recall all the lost images because I'm just so ticked off about that. I am devastated as well because obviously it's special photographs of my teenage earthling and I you know until they're recovered they're gone um, and I'm really really sad about that and because I got so used to filming on the cell phone rather than the Canon camera um, and there's less hissing as well with this and it's super awesome the camera on this that's why I've kept this particular phone for such a long time I know people always upgrade their phones, but that's just not me. You know, if it's broke, don't fix it sort of thing. Yes, teenage athlete. 
in the background. And if you hear of any other little noises, that's the uh, cavies or the bunny. I think the bunny's still scampering around somewhere. Okay, so I got a few bits over a few weeks ago. I'll just pause the camera and you guys will see what I was given and what I had got from a few thrift stores. Shine twirl, everybody. More twirling, like Dorothy, or Sean, or get this behavior. Around the sun is shining. So I, I just literally be out in the garden and yeah, prancing around like a hypo kitty on catnip or a little child, I don't know, when they were little, getting all excited, going into a candy store and uh, yeah, so God knows what, if anyone walked past and saw this mad woman acting like a fruitcake, I don't know, but I don't know, I just got all excited, so it's just really, really bizarre. So I, I've just put the uh, photograph, or some of the photographs up on Ig and uh, just messaged uh, Sean from Keep This Behaviour again just to um, say thank you to her because it was very kind and she didn't have to do that, she didn't have to agree to it or anything. Um, but also it's great in the sense of, you know, sort of repurposing clothes and, you know, if somebody else can get some wear and use out of um, garments that people have had, you know, I've not got a problem with that. And I think it's great all recycling. So, but it's really bizarre because I don't often wear skirts. And yet, as soon as I put the parrot skirt on, it was just like, yeah, just felt like Dorothy on that little yellow brick road. So, yeah, I don't know. But it just, yeah, I, I'm going to carry on finishing um, my top. So, I, you guys will see that. Um, very very soon, well it will be soon to you, it won't be soon to me because I've just got to do some hand stitching, going to do the hands fold under and hand stitch um, along the armhole, I nearly say sleeve, I don't know why I say sleeve on a sleeveless top, um, and obviously around the neckline, I've suited everything, it was very very quick make, just suited everything together, I'll show you the pattern, hang on bear with me a sec, yep so it's the new look K6532, you've seen that before, that one there really really like that style so you can kind of team it up with um just sort of regular pants or a pair of jeans and like i said at the moment the weather is just still being really really fantastic so yeah i mean i might even wear the parrot skirt to my the dress it fits it's just i think my rib cage is just just a tiny like about a quarter of an inch snug um so I may let it out. I don't want to, you know what I mean? It's just like, they're just so exquisitely crafted by Sean, and it's just like, I just don't want to touch them. So, but everything else is fine. On the rep top, I will just have to create just a little tiny um, hole so I can slide the ties through. And on the beautiful dress, um, the only thing is the zipper on the dress just was a little bit, snagged i don't know if it's because perhaps sean hadn't worn it for a while um so i just had to sort of run it up and down a few times but apart from that everything is absolutely perfect so 
which you know you wouldn't expect anything else. Anyway, I will catch you guys in a bit. Ah, you're my good boy. Ain't that yummy? Does anybody else's keys roll around in a dirty laundry pile, lick and get all excited? What it is it about that laundry? And we're not dirty people. That's you! Oh, excuse me. Emma, are you a crazy cat? Yeah, you are. They're completely bonkers. Mad. Absolutely mad. Look, she's even licking it now. Emma, you're absolutely crazy. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have got a kitty that seems to get excited over a laundry pile. Because this cat, I'm telling you, she's just like one crazy girl. Look at her. Look at her. Seriously, if I just told this story and told about it, it would be disbelief. Now that it's on film, there's proof. You crazy girl, Emma. I don't know. Hey everybody. Really exciting morning, this Sunday morning. Gonna go to a little sewing meet up, so hopefully I will get a little bit of footage and some photographs, see how everybody, um, you know, who's there and all the rest of it. Okay, catch you guys in a bit. Everybody, so I have made it to the um, fabric swap little get together and as you can see here there's patterns and fabric and we recognize the dress there so pretty kitty has worn so a few tables with lots and lots of notions and there's patterns lots and lots of patterns here and there's a stack of sewing books as well and this beautiful bunting you can see the hall that's quite a big hall lots of fabric here as you can see I bought a ton of fabric as well to swap I've taken a few little bits and pieces as well it's coming over here There's fabric there as you can see there and yet more fabric on this table as well and I nearly, I nearly said it kitty from pretty kitty Carrie from <laughs> Carrie from pretty yeah um, Carrie and Lucy from made by Lucy there we go awesome <laughs> yeah, so those lovely ladies had organised the event today, and as you can see, stacks and stacks of yummies there, just pause it for a second, and yet another table full of sewing books, lots and lots and lots of sewing books everybody would recognise, as you can see. Another little table there with some patterns on and a few more books and then over here another little display of everything. Oh that's really cute. I like that. Little fluff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
As I'm just having a little walk about at the moment, look at this beautiful little sort of village. This was where the um, fabric swap hall was, and I've just come out and had a little walk around. And all these little beautiful buildings, which seem quite old. Yeah, I'm going to go and get a nice hot cup of tea, I think, just to warm, warm myself up. At the clock up there. Yeah, it's really, really good. Wasn't expecting this at all. Got some of the original features there. It's really good. Well, I think over there is where to go and get a drink. Yeah, can't believe this. That was awesome. It must have been thriving once upon a time. Perhaps in the, you know, in the years gone by. sat down in the cafe as you can see and I've got a really nice little window view out there which I think is really pleasing yeah so I'm just gonna wait for a nice hot cup of tea and a little something to eat and as you can see over there it's really really nice and boimy in here they've got lots and lots of different things on display yeah really lovely atmosphere just spied here, that's really really cute. I think it's all crocheted. And there's some things over here as well. There. Oh no, the wool store, maybe it's all knitted. I think that's really cool. And look at the Polly Parrot. Squawkers. There we go. And then over here, see my feet. And then we have kind of like a totem pole, I guess. And that's all knitted. I think that's awesome. Also, they have a little river here. And I think this is the name. I don't know how to pronounce that. River, river, wily, wild. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. Just see there. I hear a little bird clicking in the background as well. I think that's a robin. Yeah, would have been good to sort of know the history of what it was like here originally. Looking around at the moment, look at these that I noticed. He is so cute. And look at the little sheep as well. I think that's really, really awesome. Anything nature inspired is just really lovely. Look at the barn owl. Photograph those guys in the wild as well. And the um, kingfisher. Yeah. They're just so cute. Look at them. Oh, wow. Love those. Mr. Foxy up there as well. They're just so cute. What these people think of as well. Really like that. Oh, I think I've got the um, egg holders. <laughs> Little sheep there as well. It's so cool. So, just walking back now, and there's another angle of the river, Now I think it's really, really pretty. There's a bunch of ducks swimming around. Yeah. Just over there. See all the colours from the leaves that have come down. It's really quite tranquil. Not that I'm quaggers or anything, but there these guys go, waddling off. Aren't they adorable? You guys can see that. There's like a chart cut out on that hill there. And it's the shape of Australia. That's really, really awesome. Never seen anything like that before. Okay, 
guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because I'm under a tree and it's going to be very blowy. But look at these. Wow, all these cutouts on the heels. Be good to find out the history. Yeah, awesome. That's so cool. So I have got back from the sew it, swap it little meet up that we had this morning with the adorable um, Carrie from So Pretty Kitty. She is a YouTuber and yeah, I've been following her for quite a while and also Lucy from Made by Lucy. So I've got her little card there. So check her out. Obviously I put the links below and um, what I'm going to do is because it's quite late in the hour now and um, my teenage earthling has got to do all the editing for me so what I'll do I will show you guys on next week's vlog all the bits that I got I took a whole bunch of stuff patterns and fabric and a sewing book um, I exchanged or swapped um, I got yes fabric of course good you fabric and I've got a couple of sewing books and a couple of patterns but yeah I will show you guys next week that because what I've got to do is show you the swifted bits that I got um, a couple of weeks ago because obviously I said when I filmed the other day that I was going to show you guys that and for a couple of days I just didn't want to film because I wasn't feeling 100% so quite a lot of pain and today, thankfully, I was okay, I was up and about. So yeah, so be with me and I will show you guys the swifted bits that I already said that I was going to show you. I haven't as yet shown you, I was supposed to show you the other day, hence, you know, different clothes, different day. Okay, so we will start off with the patterns that I got. So I've got this one here, another vintage one. I think that may have been free from a book or something originally. And we've got a style pattern 3450. So that's pretty cool. And then something called Woman's Realm uh, L246, I think that's right. And the next one is called Practical, number 5659. That one's pretty old. It looks like it's on its, uh, you yeah. know. And then Simplicity 6587. So then the patterns, so I will show you the books. Okay, this first book is Dressmaking and it's by Anne Ladbury and first published in 1976. It's a really, really good book, so a few line drawings there. See what else they've got. Yeah, so I thrifted that and I think I pay oh, not very much, a few cents. Got this big book here, the complete book of sewing. Who's that by? Uh, Oh, Carl Library Direct. I don't think he's actually got an author. I don't 
seems sort of crazy to get these modern sewing books, but sometimes it's just nice to flick through. And then the Macaws sewing in colour. Ooh. And I like the pictures on the back. Notice the pretty cat. Oh, it was on the front as well. <laughs> Just made a complete galah of myself, haven't I? Yeah, really good condition. So, I don't know when that was originally... When was that originally done? Oh wow, 1964. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so they're the books that I got. And this final book, um, my friend very kindly got it off um, one of the well-known selling sites off the interweb. So here it is. But I really, really like that. Give you a quick idea of what it looks like inside yeah really really pleased with that so okay guys so yeah had a really really mishmash week this week um also i just got to show you guys the two tops that i've sewn so be with me okay so the two little tops were new look k6532 is that one? Go ahead, thinking yeah. So you saw a sneaky peek of this beautiful fabric from Soilicious, and I will link those guys below. Because I only got half um, a meter or half a yard of this fabric, this particular top is quite cropped for me but I've got a couple of high-waisted pants that that will go with um, what I'm going to do again next week if I remember I will insert stills um, I'm not going to do that today I don't have time and the light is going and then another one here which is in the embroidery on glaze and it's white and that seems obvious but I've got a slightly off white cream one and it's white white and then I used a uh, satin bias binding around the arms and the neckline and all I did was just surged the seams together and then on the bottom surged the hem folded under and then stitched that the inside and that's the outside so yeah just a couple of really quick makes just something to chuck on in a pair of jeans or just like really comfy pants so yeah it was nice to do a couple of quick makes and the fabric from so delicious is oh so 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 super soft and it's really really comfortable so really pleased with that okay guys so let me know which on your sewing table or what you're in the process of making or putting together or what you've been up to generally um thank you so much for watching again this week and again if you like it please give me a thumbs up really would appreciate that and anyone that's not subscribed please subscribe because it all helps so thank you very much for everything have a fantastic week and i will see you guys next week